welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah. Today I am continuing the artificial nail saga. So if you've seen some of my other videos, I've done about three trying to get fake nails to work without using glue because I hate acrylic nail glue it's like so much with the passion. I had a bad experience and it's just, it's a mess. It smells and that stuff is cement. <laughs> So I have been on a journey to find something else I can use that's not so harsh and smelly. And I've tried a lot of different things, but none of them have worked out to where I could wear it for more than a single day. Some of them just lasted for that day and then they started popping off. And in my previous nail video, I tried to use UV nail gel to cure underneath the lamp and then put the nail on top because I saw a video on YouTube of somebody else doing that. And I definitely made some mistakes in my first video. The nails needed to be clear or at least somewhat transparent so that the UV light can cure the gel through the nail because otherwise it was just doing nothing, <laughs> absolutely nothing. But I took everyone's suggestions and I said I wasn't gonna make this video if it just absolutely did not work, but they're on right now, so we'll see how it goes, but it at least works for now. So these were the clearest option I could find without getting nails that are like the really, really long claw type, and I just can't deal with those. I don't know how. So these are still pretty see-through, so I'm hoping that they work. To prep my nail, I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol, dehydrate, that nail. So I'm going to be taking some of these suggestions that I got in the comments from my other videos to dehydrate underneath this nail. People suggested filing the inside of the nail as well as the inside of, or not the inside, the top of my natural nail. I'm not sure if I want to do that. I don't think filing down your nails is good for the health of them and I don't want to mess my nails up just to have fake nails. So I'm trying to file inside. So what people were saying in the comments is that if you file on your natural nail or on the inside of your nail, it creates a better texture for the glue to connect to rather than a smooth surface connecting to another smooth surface. I don't know if you can tell, but I did file it a little bit inside. And I'll do just like a little bit on my nail. Then I'm gonna go back over that with the alcohol, make sure it's really dehydrated. I'm using the same gel that I used in my previous video. It's the Sally Hansen Salon Gel Polish Gel Base Coat. I received so many comments saying that, that this isn't a gel coat that you would use with a lamp, but it is. I think they have different types, but it even says on the box that it must be used with an LED lamp. It's, so it's not the gel that messed up my video last time. I'm using the same lamp that I used last time, and this is the Sun UV lamp. I think this was about $20 to $30 on Amazon. Okay, so first, what I'm going to do is apply a coat, thin coat, to my natural nail, and then I'm going to cure that by itself. That was a suggestion from a few different people. Put a coat on your natural nail, let it cure, then put it on the fake nail, and put it on your nail and let it cure. Okay, so I let that sit and cure for two minutes and it's still sticky. I don't know if it's supposed to or not. It's not like coming off, but I've never actually gotten gel done before. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some to the nail. Stick that on. And then try and cure that while holding it down. Okay, so I let it cure for two and a half minutes and it feels pretty secure, more secure than the previous time I did it and it looks really good so far. I can see through to my natural nail so I do think they are clear enough. Since it does take quite a bit of time to cure, I'm gonna try and do all of my nails at once and then cure them at the same time instead of going nail by nail. I'm going to file the edges that sit against my nail bed down a little bit because I don't know if I just have skinnier nail beds up here but they are too wide and they poke my skin. One more alcohol coat. I'm gonna let that dry. 
I'm going to apply a single coat to each nail and then cure them all at once. I'm gonna cure them for two minutes. Okay, so those are all cured. Now I'm going to start applying it to the nails. Okay, so this is not working. I'm gonna cure them one at a time while holding it down. Now I'm gonna do the last two. As they're curing, I'm pushing them down. All right, now I'm going to start on my second hand. Dehydrate them once. Let those dry out a little bit. Here's what the finished hand looks like. They look pretty nice so far. They feel secure. I do file just a little bit on my nails, not too much. Do more alcohol. Snail. Okay, now that they're all on, I'm going to sit them underneath the lamp for another two minutes just for extra security. So these have been on for about one to two hours. I did already have one pop off my thumb, but I, that was definitely my fault. This was the last one I did and I was just going too quick. And I put way too much gel on the nail and I think it just was too much gel to cure it with the lamp. And then I tried to reapply it with more gel and then put the nail back on, but that obviously didn't work because too much gel was the initial problem. So it popped off again. However, I knew that I was cutting corners when I did this because I just wanted to be done. And none of the other ones have fallen off. So definitely make sure to put not like a tiny amount, but a light coat so there's not too much gel. Because you don't want too little, but you don't want globs of it. And I had like a glob of it. So they're on right now. I'm going to paint them and then follow up tomorrow to see how many are left or if all of them are left. And I really hope it's all of them because they, they feel good. Right now they feel really secure and they feel fine. Like I like the length of these nails. I like the thickness, they're not too thick. So yes, I will check in with you tomorrow. I am upset. I was planning, I was, ugh. I'll just show you my nails. We have four left, quite, quite sadly. I, mm, two of these nails fell off right before I was going to film this video. Like I had finished work and I was like, okay, time to do a YouTube update. And what breaks off? One nail. I go and grab a bag, what breaks off? Another nail, when they didn't even feel loose. I kid you not, I was already planning in my head all of the positive things I was going to say because at the time, like these three had stayed on and my pointer fingers and my thumbs had fallen off. And I already stated before that I think I put too much of the gel nail on this, that's why it fell, fell off. And since it's like the same fingers, I'm guessing that I either did the same thing, I put too much of the gel on there so where it just couldn't cure, or since they're the most like highly used fingers, like if you're texting or if you're touching the screen or something, I don't know. So naturally those would have the most wear and tear and maybe they just need to be cured for like extra long because they do get so much use. But then these two randomly fell off. Like they didn't even feel like they were coming off. Like they, like these don't either, but then they just like all of a sudden were like, 
pep off. Like I, I really thought that since six out of the 10 had stayed that it was definitely just like user error or things I could fix. And I was so excited because like, this seems like it's actually working and like it kind of still is cause like it's working on my left hand. I don't know. I mean, it makes more sense why they'd all fall off on my right hand because it gets more use than my left hand. But I'll have you know, I was fully ready to praise this method and tell you that it finally worked and like it kind of did, but I'm not sure exactly what I need to do to make it last longer. Like these are lasting, but I'm not sure like, do I just need to cure it under the lamp for like 10 minutes? If they'll stay on, I'll do that because I actually really love these. I like this, how they feel better than I do the Kiss Impress nails. Cause those, I think just with the adhesive, they feel a little bit heavier and they do come off the nail a little bit because of the adhesive. So it's easy for like, if you go through your hair for hair to get caught underneath your nail, that doesn't like really bother me. But if I'm looking for the pros, I haven't had that issue with this and it's not horribly messy like the glue is. So like, I'm, I'm not giving up on this. I'm going to make it work because clearly I am on the right track. It only took four videos to find something. I even painted them and made them look all nice. <laughs> I think I'm going to try and take off all of the residue from the other nails and from my natural nails and try it again. And I'm not sure if I'll put that update in this video if I'll have time, but I definitely think that this is something that can work. Like the other ones, other methods I tried, like they just, they would have needed a lot of working with to get them to work. But I feel like this is so, so close to working that I just need to change like a couple of things in order to get it to work because like, I like that. I wonder if you really do just need ultra clear nails. Like I couldn't find any, but if you can, maybe that'll work. Maybe I can just leave them to cure for a longer period of time individually. We'll see. But if I don't do another update in this video, I'd like to say that I think this is definitely something you can try and I think it can work. I'm not gonna discount it. I'm not gonna say this is a bad method. I prefer this method to glue already, even though they popped off. Like I will be trying this again. And if I find a method that like really works and like I perfected it, I will make a video about it so that if you're searching, I can let you know. But if you want to do it yourself after watching my video, I would say make two adjustments. Don't put too much of the gel nail polish because you don't want it to be too thick. You want it to be able to cure. And second, literally, what was I talking about? Oh, okay, oh my God. Um, let it cure underneath the lamp for like extra long. like. I put it under for like two extra minutes thinking like, oh, this is good enough. But like, maybe it like, it really needs a long time. I don't know. Just like, I don't know. Put one hand under and scroll on your phone on the other. And there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want to follow me elsewhere, I will have my social media linked in my description box. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and I actually just got a Twitter for this account. So I might be posting on there, we'll see. My tweets are generally just rants or things that randomly pop up in my mind. So it's, it's quite random. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, share. I will hopefully see you in my next one.